Three Best ETFs to Buy for Long-Term Investors If you're an investor who prefers the buy-and-hold method, enabling well-selected assets to increase considerably over time, index-based exchange-traded funds, ETFs, can be a great alternative for you. However, for long-term investment plans, these instruments provide an attractive and often cost-effective choice for both individual and institutional investors. Trading an index via an ETF gives greater flexibility and convenience than with mutual funds, as ETFs trade on a stock market like individual securities. If you're a long-term investor constructing a portfolio and want to add index funds to the mix, there are several to select from. Below are three of the finest ETFs based on 10-year total return. Number one, the Van Eck Semiconductor ETF, SMH. The Van Eck Semiconductor ETF, SMH, managed by Van Eck, has assets under management at $9.4 billion and has produced a powerful 10-year performance, producing a 24.0% return. This ETF particularly targets the semiconductor sector and is noted for its concentration on the biggest businesses within this area, as shown by its portfolio composition. SMH intends to follow the performance of the 25 most major semiconductor businesses that are listed in the U.S. This selection criteria emphasizes the fund's objective of investing in large capitalization firms, which often provide better stability and market resilience compared to their smaller counterparts. The ETF's top three holdings include some of the industry giants, NVIDIA Corporation, NVDA, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, and Broadcom Incorporated, AVGO. These companies are pivotal in the semiconductor space, with NVIDIA being a leader in graphics processing units, Taiwan Semiconductor renowned for its advanced semiconductor manufacturing capabilities, and Broadcom known for its diverse portfolio in semiconductor and infrastructure software solutions. The concentration of the fund is relatively high, with approximately 70% of its assets invested in the top 10 holdings. This concentration shows a substantial dependence on the performance of its top companies, which may be a double-edged sword, raising returns when these stocks perform well, but also increasing volatility if any of the big holdings fail. In terms of liquidity, SMH is regarded as the most liquid alternative among comparable funds, with an amazing three-month average trading volume of nearly 7 million shares. This high degree of liquidity is helpful for investors, offering ease of entrance and exit positions in the fund at market prices that are near to net asset value. Additionally, the fund maintains a competitive cost ratio of 0.35%, which is rather modest given the specialist nature of the ETF. This fee structure makes SMH an appealing alternative for investors wanting exposure to the semiconductor sector without paying hefty management charges. Historically, the semiconductor business has witnessed substantial expansion, driven by the rising demand for electronic devices, improvements in technology, and the vital role semiconductors play in different contemporary technologies. The strategic emphasis of the SMH ETF on major U.S. semiconductor businesses enables it to possibly capitalize on the industry's development patterns while offering investors a method to get tailored exposure to an important area of the technology industry. Number two, the iShares Semiconductor ETF, SOXX. The iShares Semiconductor ETF, SOXX, is a famous exchange-traded fund, ETF, managed by BlackRock Financial Management, one of the world's largest asset managers. With assets under management of about $8.6 billion, SOXX gives investors exposure to the booming semiconductor industry, which is crucial to several technology-driven sectors. SOXX especially targets the semiconductor industry by monitoring the ICE Semiconductor Index. This index covers 30 of the biggest U.S.-listed semiconductor businesses, covering a wide range of organizations engaged in the design, production, and distribution of semiconductors. The deliberate selection of these firms enables the ETF to capture the main features of the semiconductor industry's development and innovation. 
among the top holdings of SOXX, which combined make up around 24% of the fund's total assets, are industry titans such as NVIDIA, Broadcom, and Advanced Micro Devices Incorporated, AMD. These businesses are acknowledged leaders in the semiconductor field, with NVIDIA notably doubling its share price over the last year, considerably contributing to the ETF's success. The high gain in NVIDIA's stock is the main reason behind the fund's excellent year-to-date return of over 50%. Historically, SOXX has exhibited excellent performance, generating a 23.9% return over the previous 10 years. This consistent increase highlights the ETF's efficacy in utilizing the semiconductor industry's development and technical improvements. The semiconductor business has been crucial in propelling advances across numerous sectors, including computers, telecommunications, and consumer electronics, which in turn stimulates demand for semiconductors. In terms of expenses, SOXX retains a competitive advantage with an expense ratio of 0.35%. This fee is quite modest compared to other specialty ETFs, making SOXX an interesting alternative for investors seeking exposure to the semiconductor sector without paying hefty management fees. The performance of SOXX not only demonstrates the development potential of the semiconductor industry, but also indicates the cyclicality and volatility connected with the sector. Factors such as global supply chain dynamics, technical breakthroughs, and economic circumstances strongly affect the success of semiconductor firms and, by implication, the ETF itself. Investing in SOXX provides multiple advantages, including diversification, since the fund covers several areas of the semiconductor business. It also offers liquidity, enabling investors to purchase and sell shares of the ETF quickly. However, prospective investors should be mindful of the risks associated with sector-specific investments, which may be more volatile than more widely diversified funds. Overall, the iShares Semiconductor ETF, SOXX, is a specialized investment vehicle that reflects the growth and cyclicality of the semiconductor sector. With its outstanding historical performance and strategic placement within the industry, SOXX is an appealing alternative for investors hoping to profit from the continued breakthroughs and growing uses of semiconductor technology. Number 3. The Invesco Dynamic Semiconductors ETF PSI. The Invesco Dynamic Semiconductors ETF, PSI, managed by Invesco, presently has assets under management of around $644.3 million. This ETF is meant to replicate the performance of the Dynamic Semiconductor IntelliDex Index, which comprises 30 semiconductor firms that are traded in the U.S. The selection of these firms is based on numerous aspects, including fundamental growth, stock value, investment timeliness, and risk concerns. This strategy tries to identify organizations with higher potential for future development. Historically, PSI has shown a solid growth trend. Over the previous 10 years, it has experienced a performance growth of 23.6% indicating its solid position within the dynamic and ever-evolving semiconductor sector. This business is vital for different technical breakthroughs. It is integral to areas such as electronics, computers, and telecommunications, making PSI an interesting alternative for investors hoping to profit from tech growth. The fund's cost ratio sits at 0.55%, which is a fee payable yearly based on the proportion of assets under management. This charge covers different operating expenditures like administrative services, compliance, and management expenses. PSI is rebalanced quarterly to ensure that the portfolio remains aligned with the index's methodology and the developing market circumstances. This periodic rebalancing assists in maintaining a portfolio that appropriately represents the current condition and prospects of the semiconductor industry. The ETF's top three holdings include some of the titans in the semiconductor industry, NVIDIA, Broadcom, and Applied Materials Incorporated, AMAT. NVIDIA is a major player in graphics processing units, GPUs, and has a growing presence in AI technologies. 
Broadcom is renowned for its broad range of semiconductor and infrastructure software solutions, and Applied Materials excels in materials engineering solutions used to produce new chips and advanced displays. A noteworthy element of PSI is its propensity to be more strongly weighted toward small cap firms compared to other ETFs in the semiconductor industry. This might provide better growth potential, but with possibly increased volatility and danger. Investing in small cap businesses may give exposure to quick growth potential in segments that may be less saturated than those controlled by bigger enterprises. The Invesco Dynamic Semiconductors ETF PSI gives investors exposure to a carefully chosen variety of semiconductor businesses via a strategy that balances risk and opportunity. Its past performance, strategic assets, and operating structure make it an appealing alternative for anyone interested in investing in the semiconductor industry's expansion. For long-term investors aiming to develop a healthy and wealthy portfolio, considering the top three ETFs is a good plan. These funds give broad exposure to a number of assets, boosting your prospects of obtaining substantial financial gain over time. If you found this material useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more insightful investing advice and financial advice.